Welcome back. This is Mr. Snyder Silver here. Today I'm busy with the count E function, Excel function. Uh, remember in the previous video, I have pointed out the six relational operators that we need to know. We need to know what is greater than, less than, equal to, less than or equal to. So all these operators we need to know. I have a spreadsheet that we need to work um, which has the quantity of cells in the Western Cape. I have three instructions. Count if the amount is larger than 1,800. So I need to find out how many amounts in this range has more than 1,800. Um, the second instruction, count if the amount less than 1,800 and count if the amount is equal to or more than 2,000. So the count if function, uh, counts the cells that meets a certain condition. For example, this would be the statement equal to count if there's a range and there's a criteria. So criteria would be the condition. So the range is the range of cells. The criteria will be tested against. So for example, the sales amount, that will be the range that I will test it against a certain condition. What is the condition? Um, over here, instruction one, it's larger than 1,800 rand. So the criteria, criteria is defined by the user or the instruction. Uh, for example, this is less than 1,800 rand. So what is a criteria? A criteria is a numeric value. It could be the date, it could be a time, it could be an integer or a logical value. It could also be an expression, for example, uh, C2 plus C5, um, it's an example, the expression will return a value, for example, if you are saying C2 plus C5 gives you the answer, and that answer you'd want to use against a certain criteria, or you would want to use it as a criteria as well. Then we have a string which may include wildcards. What is wildcards? Could be an asterisk, question mark, and so forth. Okay, let's start off with this um, activity over here. Let's say, count if the amount is larger than 1,800 rand. So I'm going to say equal to, count if, I'm going to select count if, the bracket opens, you can see there's a range I need to select, and there's a criteria. And you can see between the range there is a semicolon and then you'll get criteria. So that is the separation. So I'm going to highlight my range and I'm going to semicolon. And now I'm going to use the inverted commas. So use the inverted commas and I need to say it is larger than. So this is larger sign. So I'm going to use the larger sign. Larger than what? 1,800. And I'm going to close my inverted commas. And I'm going to close the bracket. And I'm going to press enter. So I know that six cells over here are larger. Six amounts are larger. So what, that's larger than 1,800. That's larger. That's larger. That's larger. That's larger. That's larger. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Count if the amount is less than 1,800, same formula, equal to, count if, I'm going to select the range, I'm going to put the semicolon there, because I need to choose my criteria, my inverted commas, and this will be less than, less than, what, 1,800, close my inverted commas, and Close my bracket. So that's three amounts are less than 1,800. So I can see that it's one, two, three. Um, instruction number three, count if the amount is equal to or more than 2,000. So it's equal to, count if, Select the range, semicolon, inverted commas, and I need to 
so insert the criteria so the criteria is equal to or more so it is this one over here greater than or equal to so it will be that equal to and what's the amount 2000 close my inverted commas close my bracket and enter so that's six note that this one over here they're saying count if the amount is larger than if I would use that um, is larger than and equal to this amount to change to seven because there is a 1800 rand over there so if I press enter over there you could see it changes to seven uh, so count if it's, it's relatively easy if you know the statement that you need to know um, that you need to type in um, you need to know what the range is, you need to know what the criteria is, and you need to know what the operators is. Uh, I hope this activity assisted you. Thank you.